Only on four, an historic projected win for the new mayor of Parowan, a small town in Iron County. Officials at City Hall confirmed that Molly Halterman will be the first female mayor in the town's 170 year history. ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen joining us live from the Utah State Capitol with this story tonight. And Rosie, I understand that Halterman wasn't even on the ballot. That is correct, Emily. Halterman threw in her name in the mayoral race at the very last minute, running as a write-in candidate, which makes this victory, or this projected victory, I should say, for this mother of 10 that much more special. And as you're about to see and you're about to hear, she says that the decision to do this was very heavily influenced by her mother. I actually had to do multiple double takes because I couldn't believe what I saw. I was absolutely in shock. Molly Halterman couldn't believe what she was seeing when she looked at the preliminary election results for the Parowan mayoral race Tuesday night. There were several times during the election process where I was told that to win as a writing candidate would be almost impossible, really nothing short of a miracle. And that the good thing is, is I would get experience at running and then I would have, you know, a better chance the next time. Halterman says her mom always pushed her to take the town's top seat. But once her mom fell ill with a terminal sickness, Halterman prioritized the remaining time she had with her mom. Her mom passed away, and with the small window left to file as a write-in candidate, she decided to take the leap. My mom was definitely a person who believed in me, and any time I doubted myself, she would say, stop that. Um, she would just say, you can do anything you want to do. Halterman says she didn't know she would be the first female mayor when she filed. She focused her campaign on the community's needs, vowing to support businesses and strengthen the communication between the city administration and community. My dearest friends and the things I care about the most are in Parowan. She knows she could have waited four years to get her name on the ballot for the next election, but felt that this was the time to do it. It paid off in a big way. My advice to anyone who is considering doing something scary or challenging that would defy the, the odds is that um, anything that you do, you have, the, you have unlimited potential. Some inspirational words there for all of us tonight. Now, this projected victory comes as the state of Utah celebrates the 125th anniversary of when women were first elected into public office. So back on this day in 1896, 14 women were elected into the office, and that includes Dr. Martha Hughes Cannon, Utah's very first female state senator. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News.